all right welcome back to the channel warhammer man back in the studio and today we're taking a look at this week's pre-orders well at least trying to uh, before we get started if you like today's video reactions reviews and news uh, daily videos all kinds of painting modeling conversion magnetizing tutorials make sure to check out the playlist and obviously subscribe as it really helps out the channel uh, that being said let's take a look at what's going on here so obviously we have this week's pre-orders are live and up for pre-order and uh, I'm just wondering is anybody even in charge in games workshop anymore because this place is completely falling apart um, you guys know obviously I have busted games workshops chops quite a bit in the past uh, for uh, you know anything that goes wrong uh, blatantly or any poor decisions they make but right now I mean you can you have to basically go out of your way to buy something on games workshops website ever since they up, updated this website it has been absolutely horrendous it is always lagging there's so many broken links it's like completely falling apart so this week I come to the website I go to the pre-orders to take a look and get started to film the video and I just scroll down real quick and realize that of the limited number of pre-orders most of them are not even on the list so you know we see how slow games workshops website loads up as you even scroll down it but we know for sure that there's supposed to be two kill teams and they're not even showing up here so i don't know what is going on with their website what is going on with their like team that writes their articles for warhammer community the team that runs the online store i mean just everything is always falling apart for them uh, i don't know what is going on so uh, all we see this week from the new stuff is the Knock Moon Kill Team book. Uh, so I decided I would just go to their little article, their little message that they send out, and take a look at that. So here we can come to the Saturday pre-orders. We see, obviously, Corsair Legionaries and uh, the Night Questorus reboxing. So that doesn't even show up on the new stuff that's up for offer. Normally that would show up on there. Um, obviously you can go to that and it's just the rebox version so now when you buy the quest Wars class you get all of the options with it uh, definitely a good improvement especially since the price went up before they did that and they haven't changed it since so in my opinion uh, it's like basically getting something for nothing uh, so we see the kill team knock moon book 45 bucks for this this is the same one that came in the box set if you're thinking about picking up this book and one of the kill teams uh, you're already in the set for like 100 bucks you can basically buy the set now for like 160 online uh, so you basically get all the train and the other team for the price of the other team so a uh, decent little deal still if you're interested in knock moon uh, but we see the legionaries uh, 65 bucks for these i think that's a pretty good deal as normally just the chaos marines that come in this kit are 60 bucks and then you get everything from that kit plus the upgrade sprue uh, with like the chain cannon uh, some of the extra bits for like the sergeant uh, for like a little caster guy and everything um, pretty good set overall and definitely really nice details sculpts and everything uh, when it's all said and done 65 bucks for those and so it's an extra five bucks you get that sprue the corsairs are super cool models not amazing in gameplay uh, for 40k but pretty good in kill team for some reason they have like the best win rate currently i'm not sure if that's just because not a lot of people are playing them or if they're just like secretly amazing uh the free dash is definitely awesome and the models look great for sure uh, but that being said you can't actually find them on the website uh if you just go to the website and look at how you normally would and then of course we have also the warhammer world um, you know special diorama and ticket and everything like that so then i notice if you try to just click on that uh the link is broken it doesn't even work uh, just takes you to the games workshops broken link site um so i don't know what's going on with them obviously they are uh having some difficulties as always especially with their website uh, but if we do go over to the actual like boxed games and again they're when they upgraded their website it loads so slow now like it's absolutely atrocious um, i hope they're not actually paying someone to do this stuff uh, so if you go over to the kill team you go over to the all and then you can actually find that they are up here on the website just for whatever reason they didn't make it into the uh this week's pre-orders or like new on the store so i'm not sure what the heck is going on there um obviously they messed up something with the categories you got broken links for the ticket um you know the website is slow and loads up terribly warhammer community they tried to put up like an animated graphic a couple times and their server is so terrible that the animated graphic like lags out the server and you can't even scroll the site um, I'm just honestly like it blows my mind sometimes uh, with GW. I mean, they're a big enough company They're, I mean, granted, they lost a couple billion dollars in value in the last like year, basically. But that being said, 
the company is still worth multiple billions of dollars. Uh, so there's no excuse for the amount of traffic that goes through like their website or their hosting or whatever uh, that it doesn't work. And there's no excuse for like the like never ending errors and broken links and everything like that. Uh, but that being said, just busting GW's shops a little bit um, because what should be just a smooth little video uh, that I put up, you know, once a week turns into like a whole ordeal to even try to like find the products that are for sale. Um, obviously, they don't make it on here. Uh, the site's lagging. It just blows my mind. I don't know. Sometimes I wonder who's in charge down there. If they just got like a couple of gerbils running the whole place or what. But uh, let me know what you think. What kind of difficulties have you had uh, with GW? Either customer service or with their website or with an order, etc. Um, I've had like some crazy situations where I've had things like on order for literally months. And I see them popping in and out of the web store like availability. And they never come. They never ship. Uh, you know, you talk to the rep or whatever and they say, oh yeah, they should be shipping out anytime and just never, never ship. Like six months goes by and then all of a sudden you get a package you weren't even expecting anymore and it's finally the item. Uh, but, you know, tell me about your difficulties. Tell me about, uh, you know, some of the issues that you've had. Uh, always get a laugh out of it. Uh, but that being said, you know, we know obviously that uh, none of the pre-orders made it on here. The Kill Team book is super cool. I already have that from the box set. Both kill teams are really nice, obviously, from the box set as well. Um, I have i can't speak to this and what kind of deal it's going to be. I really don't know like the prices or anything on it. Um, so it's kind of like a up in the air. I mean, I would imagine, honestly, if you're going to go and check out the exhibit, it's probably not a bad idea to buy the book because you know the pictures inside these books are going to be absolutely amazing. The lighting is going to be perfect. The angles are going to be perfect. There's not going to be anybody in the way. They're going to be using a much better camera than you do. So when it's all said and done, I can understand the appeal of buying that book. Um, you know, I've been to a lot of museums and stuff like that where it makes sense to pick up like the actual like published version rather than trying to like take your own photographs, etc. Uh, so that being said, uh, not a ton going on uh, with this week's pre-orders. And for me, you know, it's just another week off, which is not necessarily bad. Uh, you know, not having to worry about these. Um, I do have some exciting videos in the pipe pipeline right now. Um, as uh, we've got a couple of commissions we just finished up. Uh, so we're going to have some commission reveal videos. Uh, actually, a few of those because we just wrapped up, uh, um, you know, one after another after another. Um, and then obviously uh, on to the next. So uh, keep your eye out for those. If you haven't checked out some of the like magnetization, conversion, tutorial videos, painting, modeling, etc. Got tons of videos. Uh, doing all that stuff, um, not only just teaching you how to magnetize, showing off like contrast paints, how to use them um, the best way possible or, you know, in my opinion, uh, for like nice results, but still a quick time. I think that's what sometimes gets lost with the contrast paints. Um, it seems like everybody wants to use the contrast paints for like either just a one and done or like as a base to make something amazing out of. Um, I think somewhere in between is the best place for the contrast paints. Um, I mean, you can do use any kind of like paints or any kind of technique. And if you spend like 30 hours on one miniature, it's going to look good no matter what paints you use. I mean, that's just a fact. I think the key is, is finding that perfect little sweet st spot between like a really nice quality and like fast enough that, you know, you can efficiently complete an entire army. Um, and I think that's where I excel at uh, as far as commissions. Like, you know, if you compare your best quality miniature that you spend countless hours on, uh, to like, you know, an army that you paint up, that one miniature is obviously going to look better than any individual miniature in the army. Uh, but when you really take like the whole look at the army and then you look at the focus that goes into the characters, etc. And like the, uh, you know, coherency between the army, um, you know, that's when it really pays off. So for me, it's that, that blend between quality and quantity because you want to make sure the whole army looks good. Uh, but you obviously have to still take care of it in the amount of time, you know, that you can get the commission completed or the army completed etc and it's the same way for my own stuff also you know i might spend a bunch of time on like a whole army but then if you look at the actual breakdown of the amount of time i spent a lot of that time on a couple like key kind of like centerpiece models or something like that so i'm always curious to hear your guys opinions i uh, always like the feedback that i get on the videos i put out and all the questions and everything um, i know like the magnetization videos are really really popular um, especially now with like the Imperial Knights uh, going to be putting together a, another video on how to magnetize an Imperial Knight. So you basically can pick up the kit now that comes with all the options, uh, pick up a few specific magnets for a couple bucks, and then go ahead and just essentially have it so that you can swap anything that comes on the knight 
uh, in and out of it. So all of the weapons will be swappable, all of the options, um, everything. So uh, keep your eyes out for that one in the near future as well, uh, the Imperial Knight or Chaos Knight magnetization video uh, but that being said gonna wrap it up there uh, kind of cracked me up this week on just how many issues there were with games workshop and broken links or you know stuff not showing up on the website so um, obviously this is a week off for them too uh, for me it's a week off from buying their products for them it's a week off from uh, any kind of quality control so uh, that's it for today if you enjoyed today's video uh, not a lot to it obviously but uh, make sure to like and subscribe uh, keep your eye out for those uh, finished up reveal videos coming very soon and uh, check out the next one uh, that's it for today warhammer man studios i'm warhammer man and i'm out of here